In this lesson, we'll explore the technique to use the pen and line segment tools to design more intricate shapes. We'll practice by drawing the Kirshan symbol. I've created a new document called the symbol, which has my copyright stamp. We'll begin by placing the Kirshan symbol on the artboard. and scale it up by pressing the Shift key to make sure the proportions are kept. To help us balance the sketch, we grab a ruler and drop it in the center. In the layers, we can make the symbol visible or invisible by clicking on the eye shape. We need to lock the shape before tracing over it, and we do it by clicking in the box next to the eye and a little locket appears. This means that we can't move or do anything with this layer until we unlock it. To unlock a layer, you just click on the locket again. Now we need to create a new layer we can draw on. So we go to the little menu and select New Layer and call it the Design. If you like, you can also change the layer color in this window, but we'll leave the red. To work on a specific layer, it needs to be selected. Now we set the stroke color to red and 0.25 points, so we'll be able to see it on top of the black and white image. Then we select the pen tool and click at the very top where we want the first anchor point, and continue to trace. When we need a straight line, we just click without dragging. The important thing at this first step is that we have the anchor points that we need in the right locations. Then we go in and modify the lines with the direct selection tool. I think that it's faster this way than trying to make the drawing perfect right away. To draw the straight lines, we pick the line segment tool and click where we want them to start and drag the lines while pressing the Shift key to make sure that they're straight. Then we continue to draw with the pen and line segment tools. And as we go along, we fix the lines with the direct selection tool. until we've traced the whole left side. Now we pick the reflection tool, make a vertical copy of the group, and move it over to the other side. We need to add some volume to the top. And with the line segment tool, we draw the last straight horizontal lines while pressing the shift key.
To check if our lines are nice and tidy, we hide the layer with the image, and with the Direct Selection tool, we make some tweaks. We don't need the image anymore, so we select its layer, go up to the menu, and click on Delete Layer. Now we select the whole symbol and set the stroke color to black. To unite the shape, we select the points between the lines, right-click with the mouse, and select Join. At the bottom, we deselect the ruler before joining the points. To check if the lines are connected, we click on one and see that the ones we want are joined. When we scale the symbol up, the lines look thinner, and when we scale it down, the lines look thicker. This happens because the stroke remains at the points we set. If we select a thicker stroke, the symbol looks more bold. The reason why we join the points, even though that this drawing won't be used as a filled shape, is that it creates a neat drawing, even when the stroke is thick. If our points were open, the junctions would look sloppy and unfinished. We need a slim line, so we undo the last move and go back to the 0.25 point stroke and save the file.